What's up everyone? Thanks for checking out this week's Wander. Today's episode, we will be building a fridge slide. So it's kind of one of those things you don't really know you need it until you have a fridge or a cooler um, and you have a drawer slide or a, you know, a drawer system. So I got a fridge, my cooler actually opened up. <clears throat> it actually opened up fine in here and I could have decent access to it. But the fridge I got is a little taller and the lid hits my little net here. So I'm gonna be building a slide that comes out and drops down so I can see what's inside my fridge. So let me show you what's going on. All right, so here's what we got. Total, I'm like 50 bucks into this, probably not even. I mean, for just what you see here, it was $30. I already had the plywood, I already had the scrap metal. So uh, price will vary if you guys are building this yourself. Um, and I apologize that it's already pretty much put together because I got impatient yesterday. Um, I was trying to design it and the way I work, I build as I go. So I already built it. I'm gonna be breaking it down so we can see what went into it. But hopefully you guys will be able to see how to do it and be able to make something for your rig as well so um, basically all it is is the two 30 inch slides or the drawer guides um, got those off amazon for like 20 bucks i have the plywood i think this is three quarters inch plywood and then i had the square tubing and everything um, already from some projects they were all just scraps so um, what I did was I took the slides and I screwed them to this board. This board is the perfect length for the feet of my fridge. So the fridge actually overhangs a little bit over here and the feet sit on this. So I'll be strapping the fridge there. And then I wanted to add structure. So I welded the two guides together here and welded them together here. And uh, there is a small incline. The back sits lower than the front, and that's because I didn't want the fridge to slide out on its own um, when I was driving. And I also might add a latch or something, but we'll get to that point later. But anyways, I know on my Instagram, I posted a, some of the designs of a drop slide for the fridge. And the reason I went against that is because I had to have more brackets on the side and that was gonna take up a lot of space in my rig. So I decided on the tilt slide, basically it works just like this. It slides out more, but I don't have two hands to use without making this fall. But uh, slides out, tilts down, you can access your fridge. So let's uh, set up the camera and I'll start bolting it in. So here's what it looks like bolted in. So now I'm gonna bolt these down on the front and I'll just have to figure out kind of the angles that work for it, I guess. It might be a little trial and error, but let's go for it. All right, so I got the angle that I want figured out. Um, I think I'm just gonna weld these to the guides here because now the holes line up and I don't have any bolts that have a thin enough head that won't interfere with the inside guide. So I'm gonna just weld it, grind some of that paint off and weld it together. And uh, we should be pretty close.
actually scrapped my idea with these struts. These are just like too heavy duty. They were just like slamming the fridge. So right now it's just limit strapped. Um, I need to figure out a latch to keep it in from sliding and smacking my back window. But we're getting there. All right, so here's what we ended up with. I think where we left off was me welding the gas struts on to the guides. Um, that whole idea didn't really work out too well. I installed the, the struts and everything, and uh, when I went to open it, the struts were so powerful, it was like slamming the fridge up. I can't even do it. It was like, slamming the fridge up like that so i was like that's not gonna work so i decided to just use limiting straps in the back and let gravity do its thing so um pretty simple design added my little latch here to lock it in nice grip to match the drawers so you just pull out and then it gets to the teeter point and it just slowly goes down you have to help it a little bit but then we just have some limit straps. Um, so super easy, works well. It's plenty strong for a fully loaded fridge. Um, I don't see there being any issues. Plenty of clearance here. Can still open this as I smack my nice new fridge. Um, eventually, I kind of want to set up a spot for my power bank. Not sure how I'll do that, if I can fit it behind there maybe, because obviously it needs to plug in. So my uh, power bank, I might set here if there's enough room behind the seat. I don't know, I'll figure that out when it gets here. Not sure how big that's gonna be. If not, I'll just put it in here and be able to pull it out easy. I also got a solar panel, so we'll see how that works. But yeah, guys, I'm super pumped. All right, guys, sorry about the wind noise. It's a little windy out here. Um, but yeah, there's the finished fridge slide. I'm really happy with how it came out. Um, total, it cost me like 40, maybe 50 bucks if you count all the screws and whatnot. But I already had all that crap. So $30 for the set of drawer guides, $10 for the handle wrap. Um, I already had this from my drawer build. So I mean, you could probably do this if you're buying all the parts off Amazon, you could do this for under 80 bucks. Um, and you don't even really need a welder. I'm just lazy and didn't want to drill a bunch of holes for the mounts and stuff. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry it wasn't like a true uh, built from scratch video. It was already pretty much built when you guys saw it. But hopefully you saw enough to be able to know how to build your own. Anyways, I'm super excited about the build. It's really getting where I want it to be. That was one thing I really wanted was a fridge. I had a cooler. Well, it's a Coleman power chill, so it was pretty much a uh, a cooler. It got to like 40 degrees. It's a plug-in cooler, electric cooler. So I really wanted a fridge freezer combo so I could have frozen goods because I want ice cream wherever I go. That was my main thing. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Our next goal is a thousand subs. Make it happen. I'll be doing a giveaway once we hit a thousand. So I have some pretty cool ideas there. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of views on the videos, not so many subscriptions. So uh, let's make it happen. We're a little over halfway there. And uh, if you guys want to check me out on Instagram, it's this underscore weeks underscore wander. Um, I'm pretty active on there every day. So. Check it out, guys. Thanks for watching.